Okay guys, I'm here today with Josh Stockman, huge pleasure. Guys, Josh is a black belt in Jiu-Jitsu and black belt on yoga as well. So he has the yoga machine in Phoenix and it's also a Jiu-Jitsu school, Attitude BJJ, right? Attitude First BJJ. Attitude, Attitude First BJJ. And he lives in Phoenix, Arizona. And he came here to shoot a DVD about yoga with us. And uh, today he's gonna show us here some of the main moves that yoga can help jiu-jitsu. So he's gonna show us here like two or three moves from yoga that can help your jiu-jitsu. And uh, I saw some of his pictures about yoga and this and that, and it's crazy what this guy can do. Like uh, it's unbelievable uh, the the things that he can do, and that that can help jiu-jitsu a lot because. Jiu-Jitsu is also about like balance and the, doing yoga you can increase your flexibility and this and that. So let's see what he has here. All right, you got it. Balance, flexibility, and strength. That's what yoga is going to give you. We're going to do one exercise for each. The first one is simple. It's a yoga push-up or a chaturanga dandasana if you want to sound like you know what you're talking about. All it is is a push-up with the elbows close to the body. So the first thing we're going to do is put our arms like it's a regular push-up and then externally rotate them so the elbows point out. That's perfect. But we don't want to lose the fingers, so we're going to keep them pointing forward, just like this, about shoulder width. Try to. Yeah. So then from here, I just turn my, my elbow. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm getting up on both toes, and I'm going to shift forward a little bit. That's it. And as I drop to the push-up, I let my arm scrape my side, and I don't hit the ground. Yes, that's perfect. And we can go back up, and one more time, shift forward. I let my arms scrape my side. I can do about 50 push-ups, but I can only do about 10 of these because Man, it uses hard. <laughs> different muscles. We'll do it one more time. Now we'll drop to the ground and flip our toes over and just give a little push. Man, it's tough. And this replicates a position you're in a lot with jiu-jitsu, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do this all you want, but you're not going to find it in a match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? yeah. So it's a great strength builder for triceps right, and for a little, little bit of <laughs> um, Another one is a basic stretch, but here's a twist to it. We're going to take a seated position with this left foot out, right foot in. We're going to pull the toes back, activate the quadriceps, and we're going to turn so we're looking at that foot. We're going to breathe and fold over and try to grab the foot. Even if we can't get it, we're going to grab something. And every time we inhale, we're going to pull and make tension. And when we exhale, we're gonna release and make depth. Yeah, you just went in farther. Inhale, pull, exhale, depth. When you get to the foot, inhale, pull, exhale, depth. Inhale, pull, exhale, depth. If you get all the way through, maybe you can get a grip, a bind around your foot, or maybe just claw the sides of it. But never stop pulling, even when it becomes a millimeter. Inhale, pull, exhale, depth. Inhale, pull, exhale, depth, all the way down until there's nowhere else to go because you're laying on your leg. And it's an active stretch. You're not just laying here, folding over. You're yeah, actually you. pulling yourself in, creating a new range of motion. There was a hand time hand. that I was really working on that, like about how to get more and more flexible. And uh, I, I really felt like every day doing that, your flexibility increases like a It starts to show flexibility immediately because you're introducing a new range of motion <laughs> to your nerves. <laughs> it's even good for dogs. But that's right. Mr. Warren, not right now, Mr. Warren. I tried to, I had to, to no move problem. forward. <laughs> no problem. So strength, flexibility, balance is the last one. The, the yoga exercises that require you to balance upside down, either on your hands or completely inverted, replicate your own weight. And your own weight is what you got to get through if you're going to win a medal, right? I, agree. I mean, if you get into the big guys, once you get to the open, but you got to get through your weight first. Yeah. It's more valuable for me to push a guy my size off 10 times or to hold him up for a minute than it is to shove one 300 pound dude off once. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is a position called a crow or a kakasana. And if you can get to a yogi squat, that's perfect, yeah, as low as you can get. If you have to, bring your heels up so your butt goes down. Now I'm gonna attach my elbows around my triceps or my armpits, and I bring them right back in where they were when we did the push-up. So shoulder width, shoulder width a little bit tighter, and now I'm gonna lift my buns 
to get my hands under me. So bring them closer. Now I start to shift nice and easy and I claw the mat with my fingers and I bring up one foot and then the other. Here's one of my, my wrist bothers me. <laughs> and this is tough on your wrist. You gotta yeah. drive through the big knuckles just like you're throwing a punch. But you don't have to go all the way up. You can shift into here and take off one foot. If you can take off both and start lifting yourself, now I'm holding up my own weight just like I would if I was fraying a dude off in side control. Beautiful. Just start seeing how hard you can count. And yes, right into headstand. And look at this position, guys. This is where I'm at anyways in jiu-jitsu. I agree. So this, yeah, rep this awesome. replicates the stuff we're doing when we fight. Yeah, because that is the right posture. Yep. Right? Keeping the elbows close. Man, yep. I Internal rotation or external. Internal is this. It gets what that gets you. Keep so, mo so the yoga you practice is like most of the exercise is turned to jujitsu. Right? Absolutely. That's the thing. What I try to do is take out stuff that doesn't help my jits because we all got limited time. Oh, yeah. And how old are you, Josh? I'm 43. Cool. And how long have you been doing yoga? About 12 years. So at the same time as you Yep, just, same exact time. I started yeah, at the same awesome. time. One was just for exercise, then I hurt myself bad and I used the yoga to rehab myself so I could keep doing yeah, it. Yeah, that's one question I had, like, uh, how much yoga helps for injury? Yoga helps a lot because people just say, oh, it made me feel better, but they don't describe why. It, it forces us to align ourselves correctly. A lot of injuries come from misalignment. Okay. Um, two, it causes blood to flow to these areas that might be hurt. Okay. And, and with blood comes oxygenation and nutrients and okay. uh, it also breaks up scar tissue if you move the joint. Most importantly, it gives you agency in your own healing. Instead of showing up at the doctor and saying, my shoulder hurts, you get to get up every morning and do something uh, to make it work. Uh, so no, it. it's great. I like it almost more than jujitsu. Cool. <laughs> cool. Man, thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.